Hey, this is Danny Rome, and welcome back to Pokemon Friendship Red. So, in the last segment, Nick was able to catch us a War Turtle. Looking at the War Turtle now, we can see that it is indeed a water type, which is solid. And also, I'm impressed by the move set. We have Revenge, Bite, Thundershock, Dizzy Punch, all of which are pretty strong moves and four different types. So that's just great. It looks like we have a pretty high defense, pretty so-so in all the other stats. So. That is really nice. I think War Turtle is going to be a pretty big asset to us in the future. However, unfortunately, we're looking pretty low leveled right now, so what I would like to do is go back through Viridian Forest to one, to level up a bit, and two, to get some of the other items that are strewn across the ground, because you never know what cool things we'll find in addition to the big mushroom we had earlier. This is going to be grindy, so I will speed it up, and let's see you guys at the end. And we're back. So a couple of funny things happened while that was going on. First of all, War Turtle, absolutely clutch. At one point, it was in a battle and got confused. It turns out that it has the ability pick up and happened to pick up a Pearson Berry that immediately healed it of its confusion. Plus, it also gains levels really quickly, so that is definitely a boon to us. Growlithe, Zombie Angel 2 on the other hand, uh, not so much. It doesn't have very powerful attacks right now, and the attack that it learned was Recycle, which is pretty much completely useless. I didn't see the point in leveling it up too much more, so right now the team War Turtles at level 10, Jelly Bob is at level 11. Um, I did, however, give it the Bright Powder, just because since it's the frailest member of the team and the most likely to take damage, then maybe some of the attacks will miss. So what I'm going to do now is go fight some of the trainers that we weren't able to face confidently before, for a very valid reason, and let's see what they got. So we got a Man Scott, he's got a Chin Chow, we got a Koopa Troopa, Koopa Troopa. Uh, let's see what Dizzy Butch does. Okay, nothing. So that means it has to be Ghost type. Payday! All right, we're gonna get some money. So if it's Ghost type, that means Bite has to be super effective. Clutch, clutch, playing those type advantages. 
Alright, what else do you got? Flaff. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know how I feel about switching once- oh no, ice cream. Good thing the water type can resist that. I don't know how I feel about switching- hmm. Sorry, I got something caught in my throat. Um, when the oppo opponent reveals what Pokémon he's going to use yet. Since it's kind of ex outside of the original game, normally as I'm going through a Pokémon game, I don't allow that. But because this game is so janky and all kinds of funked up, I can see it being more justified there. So I'm going to keep the option on for right now anyway. In the meantime, let's fight some of these men, some of these bug catchers. Zoe? You look like a Zoe. Quagsire. Alright. Let's Thundershock with Quagsire. Could never work. Fine wave, that's not good. Okay. So, I'm thinking we should switch out to avoid future Vine waves. Nice. Shadow Ball does a lot of damage. Um, interestingly, War Turtle seems to be pretty good at physical defense, whereas Jelly Bob is better with special defense. So, got some diversity here. And uh, unknown with Mach Punch, that is probably going to be its only move. It is, however, not Psychic type. And we just erased that unknown from E existence. Volbeat and not the musical artist. Uh, Jelly Bob's doing some good work so far, so let's keep it up. Shadow Ball. Hmm. Aeroblast! Okay, that doesn't hurt us too much because we're electric type. Um, still, though, Aeroblast, it's like the most coveted move. For any flying type Pokemon. Get some Rock Blast in. I guess that's our go to for right now. Man, a Volbeat with Aeroblast. I guess it goes to show you never know what moves these Pokemon are gonna have. Even if we figure out what type they are, the moves probably are not going to reflect the type. So, hopefully. I guess it's more important that we play around the moves that other Pokémon have than if we do the old type matchup game the way you normally can. Whoa! We just learned Soft Boiled! That's amazing! We have an instant recovery move now on Jelly Bob. That's... That's gonna be super useful. I'm, I'm excited. So there was a bug catcher up there that I had accidentally fought while grinding. Um, I think there's another one here who will also fight us. Regice. Regice only have one move, and that is Thief, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah not gonna do it too much damage to us there. Um, you know what? I feel comfortable. We'll use some Digizzy Punch. Not very effective, so that means it must be a rock type or a steel type. Probably a rock type or a steel type if um, bite is also not effective. So that means fighting should be good. <laughs> nope. Hmm. Maybe it has a dual type that covers the fighting weakness. Psychic might do that. Oh no, if it was Psychic then... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, let's fight this last guy. I think he wants to fight us. Oh. Oh yeah! So, Soft Boil, we can actually share HP with other Pokémon who are in our party. Um, 
that's... I can't believe how great that is. Um, I'm gonna get into a random encounter just to use soft boil again so, so that we can heal up. That just made our lives so much easier. Jelly Bob, MVP of the day of the lifetime. I am gonna be so sad if something happens to Jelly Bob throughout this run. Oh, Alright, something happened to Jelly Bob throughout this run. How could you paralyze him? How could you? How could you? Um, do we have a parlous heal? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I'll use it. Might not be the most judicious use of our items, but that's okay. What do you have, guy? Pokemon Evolve? No way! Do your Pokemon Evolve to Veronica? Another Veronica? Really? It's a popular name. Okay. Pidgeotto? I'll try the Rock Blast. It plays for the traditional type effectiveness. And it works! Does that mean Pidgeotto is flying type? Not necessarily, but... Rock Blast is super effective on Pidgeotto. Good to know. C dot. We've seen completely different Pokémon from all of these bug catchers. That makes me think that... Oh, Shadow Ball doesn't affect, so it must be a normal type and maybe something else. A little Rock Blast. And this. Frenzy Plant. Yeah, our special defense is solid enough. Um, anyway, all of these bug catchers have different Pokémon completely, so I think that means it's the teams are randomly determined rather than it be one Pokémon explicitly replacing another Pokémon for the trainer rosters, that is. Um, for the areas, then, it is explicitly one Pokémon replacing another Pokémon. Okay, a Vile Plume. Let's see if we can Shadow Ball it. Thunder Punch. That's not going to do much to us. Does mean that I would rather not switch into either of our teammates, though. Detect. Extreme Speed. I'm trying to think of how a moveset like that might be legitimately viable in Pokemon. If Vile Plume could actually learn extreme speed, would a Vile Plume want to use it? Um, in this case, I, I'm pretty sure the answer is no, but some of the other hypotheticals would be different. Jelly Bob with Soft Boiled, I could totally see a Tentacool or Tentacruel using Soft Boiled if that was available. But anyway, we beat Veronica, and that's the last of these bug catchers. So there's one other trainer that we can fight now before the gym, and that is our rival. I... In regular game playthroughs, I don't always do this fight, because it's kind of difficult actually. He's in the route west of Viridian, and he has a Pokémon at level 9. In the regular games, it's going to be a Pidgey. This time, we don't really know what it is. Um, but a level 9 Pokemon is kind of scary, as we have seen previously. I don't remember what level his starter is going to be, but I know there's going to be a Pidgey or something at level 9. So... Regardless, I think at this point we have two Pokémon that are leveled up enough, and also we have Soft Boiled, so I think it'll be safe to take on our rival. So I'm going to speed this up and then meet at the scene of the fight. Okay. So we are here and ready to take on our enemy that is green and Walreen. Um, no thanks. Okay. Jelly Bob's at level 13 and 
Uh, Koopa Troppa is at level 12. Angel 2, again, I don't think is going to be that useful for right now, so I'm just going to keep it on the DL. Will be the backup. He's uh, on the reserves. Tier 2. Let's see what you got. He's still a chef. And it's a Meganian. Okay. Hmm. So maybe Meganian is replacing Koji. In any case, we have Koopa Troppa out right now. The game is Flame Wheel, so I think that will be alright to stay in. Um, I'll, I'll go for Dizzy Punch. Okay, 3 damage. That's not bad. Dizzy Punch looks like a 4 hit KO. Uh, must be physically defensive or something. Ah, uh, critical hit. I don't want that. Nice! Critical hit! We want that! Okay. Koopa Troppa gains all the experience points. Will-O-Wisp! Hmm. Will-O-Wisp, to get a burn, is pretty nice. It's only 75% accurate in this game, and at this point, I would rather us not lose our coverage moves. Hmm. Will-O-Wisp could save our lives if someone is physically destroying us, but also Koopa Troppa seems to have decent defense right now, so that might not happen. We'd only use it for those emergency battles anyway, so I think it better to actually not learn Will-O-Wisp this time around. Okay, Paris. I know that Jelly Bob can handle it from before, where it was able to use Shadow Ball despite a dig. <laughs> Let's see if that comes into play again. Shockwave! Oh man. It's a really good thing I switched into Jelly Bob, actually, because that would have been super effective on War Turtle. Okay. Let's Shadow Ball it. <laughs> okay. We do a decent dam enough damage to it. Jelly Bob does seem to be more of a special, specially defensive tank so far, and that's certainly useful for us. Cool. Yeah, I stopped telling us. We'll dawdle as much as we like. <coughs> Okay. Well, we were able to beat our rival once again, which is great. And what I'm going to do now is take us back to Pewter City. And I will turn it over to Nick for the fight against Brock and his underling. So. I know you kind of stuck this on me, wanting me to handle it, but I I think you got this, bud. I think you can do it. I believe in you. Um, if I recall correctly, Brock has a level 12 Onyx in this game, um, which means that he's going to have a level 12 something. Well, anyway, I'm just going to speed this up, actually. So we're back, and we'll be ready to go for the next time. Nick, best of luck to you against Brock, and I know you'll do fine. Have a good day. <laughs>